It's just a taboo topic. And that's why my business has done incredibly well because we're finally talking about the secret things that grandma's grandma knew But somewhere down the generations, it turned to be an independent woman, um, uh, take care of yourself. You don't need a man for anything. You know, it, it turned into this mindset somewhere along the way. And I simply disagree. I agree with grandma's grandma. Best place to find a rich man. <laughs> so the key is proximity or get online. We search for single men, we align them with single women. And I give the strategy on how to do that. And the first key is number one, your mindset. You have to know that I deserve this kind of man because I'm the kind of woman that this kind of man that I have in mind, he wants, he wants me. Women have to elevate to the place that the man they want, wants. So the first thing we do is adjust the mindset and apply the action to become that woman. A lot of people do not leave the mundaneness of their routine. My thing is, if you've been you know, single for a long time, you have to check your routine and like, okay, this isn't working. Let me try something else. So I've mastered the online dating world. I have these incredible formulas for how to write the perfect profile. Um, and they work. My students have gotten married off of sites like Seeking which, you know, I don't endorse, I don't get any, ad, you know, paid ad or commercial or anything from them. But I really like seeking because the men that are there are already in protect, provide mode. They may not be in marriage mode, but not all my students are looking for that. And most people don't really know that from the beginning. Go to the places where successful people go. Stop dining at, you know, five guys and and go to uh four seasons those little small changes put you in proximity of a whole different realm of people that you've never tapped into most people don't realize how easy that is are rich men getting harder to find no they're getting wiser um they're getting wiser when it comes to who they give to they're becoming more protectant of themselves and their investments so they're no longer in this phase where they're like, hey, you're hot. I'm going to blow money on you. Now they're like, let me hear you say something first. Talk to me. Give me, give me some, some insight on who you are and what you're after and what are your dreams and desires and your long-term goals. Oh, you don't have any long-term goals? You're just hot? Okay, I might take you to an expensive dinner once or twice, see if I can get to where I want to go, and then peace out. So they're just getting wiser with what they're willing to accept. And it goes beyond beauty now. It goes beyond like, how hot are you?